What's going on? My name is Brianna and welcome to the channel. I'm really excited because today I'm going to be showing you how I moisturize my mini twists using the LOC method. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna be using three different products today, but really only like two products, um, unless you count hydration or water as a product. But anyway, these are the three products that we're gonna be using. Water. Lusty Moisturizing Hair Lotion. And the famous Hair and Scalp Moisture Sealant Oil, formulated by moi, your girl herself. Okay, so it has been three weeks, maybe a little over three weeks since I last washed my hair and installed these mini twists. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it out of my little bun that I have. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, yeah, as you can tell, it's dry-ish. The only reason why I literally do not, I won't say I don't like doing it, but sometimes I'm hesitant to do it unless I, am willing to re-moisturize my hair like the next day or like two days after. Um, I love putting my hair up in a ponytail, but I have high porosity hair, so it dries pretty fast and then it gets crimpy on the ends where I like, so I had a bun in for like two days, so it's kind of like crimpy in like multiple different areas. I mean, it's, it's cute, you know, like it's cute in a way, but not for the look we're going for. <laughs> not for the look we're going for. Now, typically I would moisturize my hair in sections. Really depends on the day. Today I'm feeling very like free formish, like it doesn't really matter. So the first thing that I do, of course, is hydrate my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I don't wanna drench it, but I want it to be like hydrated and, you know, just get a little bit of some water in it. Because the leave-in conditioner is what's really going to be like the moisturizer. That's where most of the shebang is gonna come from. And then I'm gonna use the oil to seal everything in. And something new that I have really loved doing is actually like spraying a little bit of the water onto my hands, rubbing it in like so, and rubbing it on my edges. Um, and also like, is that my neighbor's in my kitchen? I think it's my kitchen. <laughs> I like putting it on my kitchen as well, just to make sure that it is getting moisturized because these are like the most exposed parts of the hair. So you don't want to ne neglect them. Also, the frizz never disappoints. I'm really happy that I don't mind my frizz <laughs> because I know some people are not a big fan of frizz at all. Me. Well, it depends on the day, but typically I'm so used to it and I know that my hair isn't like naturally frizzy. So I'm just like, whatever, it is what it is. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer, my leave-in conditioner, which again is the Lusty Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. This is like super old school. So if you have ever used this before, shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to you. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the water. I'm literally just going to dibble and dabble it all over my hair and i like to do the same thing with my edges as well as my kitchen just like i did with the water not too much but you know like just a little bit and go ahead and go over my edges and in the back of my kitchen as well just to make sure that it's not super dry and not breaking off you know simple simple hair care stuff <laughs> making sure that i am of course getting my ends because if you are a natural, you should already know that your ends are the most important parts of your hair. They need to be done. Okay, like they need that TLC, that tender loving care. And you see like my hair, I should have did like a kind of like a little bounce thing before, but this is my hair with only water and leave-in conditioner. Crazy, crazy what that can do for you. And you know what's crazy? So I have youth group tonight. I was gonna like put my hair in, like probably pull it back or like pull it up or something, but I don't know. I think I just might leave it down just for tonight. I don't know. It's kind of a vibe and it kind of low key goes with my outfit. So I might do that. I might just leave her down. I, I'm kind of liking how wavy it is.
Okay, now that I have moisturized my hair thoroughly and hydrated it, now it's time to go in with the oil, which is going to seal and lock in all the moisture and the hydration that I just applied to my hair. So with this oil, what I like to do is I like to shake it up prior just so I can get all of the good nutrients and stuff in it. Suck it in. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this on my palms, rub my palms together and then apply it to my hair. Oh no, what's really crazy, I legitimately have not filmed a hair video in almost a year. Like it's literally been 11 months. And I know that because I literally checked all my videos. It's been 11 months since I filmed a hair video and it just seems so natural still. So I love it. Ooh, she's giving and y'all obviously can't feel my hair but <laughs> it's so soft and so moisturized oh my gosh i love re-moisturizing my hair which is funny because it used to be one of the things that i really disliked about being natural like i hated having to re-moisturize my hair it was the absolute worst for me all right and that is pretty much how i moisturize my mini twist using the loc method liquid oil cream for those of y'all that are not familiar so you see how it has that like that's what i'm talking about that little that little crimp curl <laughs> like why you know i really won't complain though because something that i really realized is that I didn't ju like just realize it, but something that I'm actually kind of happy about and I literally was boasting about it to my dad the other day. I was like, dad, oh my gosh, my bun is so thick. Like it is so thick. And I really wish I could have taken a picture of my bun when I first put it in so I could show you guys, but you know, I know next time. But like my bun was so thick and I remember literally like three, four, almost five years ago, I was able to get my hair into a bun, but it was like one of those things where it's like, those little buns and then it's like that <laughs> like that's literally what my buns look like looked like looked like i cannot speak english oh my gosh looked like and i was just like wow like i have come so dang far in my natural hair journey ah and i'm super excited to be back on here sharing it with y'all i have been natural for quite a while and i feel like i definitely need to do like a whole video on like my natural hair journey in my business that i started as an inspiration for all of my natural hair girlies and my guys out there that are rocking the natural definitely need to make a whole separate video for that but i want to say thank you so much for watching today's youtube video make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed today's video keeping it short keeping it sweet and keeping it very informed but also i don't just do natural hair videos if you you are a fan of entrepreneurship, natural hair, of course, mental health and or Christian based content, <laughs> how to grow your relationship with God. Definitely make sure to subscribe. Go check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you always for it and have an amazing rest of your day. Mwah. Bye guys.